journey as a game, it's uh, a, a person's birth, he was very young, and he doesn't know anything, and he starts to explore, and the childhood is very safe, and everything is exciting. Um, and then, as he grow, uh, he realized more and more about uh, why he's here and his purpose. In Journey, you wake up in this desert environment and you see the mountain in front of you. That's the goal of the game, is to get to the mountaintop. But through the experience of Journey, you learn who you are and what's happened in this world and what your purpose is. It was a very um, iterative process. We just tried out a whole lot of things. I drew zillions of pencil drawings before we even went to the computer. That's where you know the, the, the idea of this mountain originated. Originally, it wasn't a mountain. It was a, a cliff, and there was a crack in the cliff. Genova and I had lunch, actually, and he showed me some of his early sketches for Journey. I just immediately knew that it was something that I had to work on. I had had a life-changing experience in Bhutan, where I had trekked over a 16.5 peak, very high in the air. It had really caused me to have an epiphany about where my life was and what I was spending my time on and what I wanted to do. And as he was telling me about the concept of journey and what it was supposed to represent, it just, it just hit me right in the heart, and I knew that, that I had to go and work on it. Along the way, you can encounter another robed figure like yourself, and that is another player somewhere in the world who's also on their own journey. There's no PlayStation Network ID, there's no in-game messaging system or chat system. It's really about having an experience in which you're in this strange world and you encounter a total stranger. When I approach these games, I, I think a fundamental feeling does not require language. It's the only way I can make something that touch the American or Japanese audience is by creating something that's more universal emotion rather than a very sophisticated emotion. But because I'm trying to hit it from a universal level, it is a lot harder. I and mean, so, yeah, instead I actually just give up on language. The music of Journey is written by Austin Wintory and he is my hero. When we were still in the very start of the project, he sent us a test piece of music. And it was just so beautiful. We, we did a, a little mock-up trailer to greenlight the game with his music in it, and it just, it gave it the mood, and you know, I think that really was something that helped get the game off the ground. So yeah, it definitely goes back and forth between the images being inspired by the music and the music being inspired by the images. The process is so iterative. There's no way to just say, here's your score, you know, in a film, it's a pretty, it's a tried and true system. But with games, it's sort of like being on the frontier in the 1850s, where it's sort of this lawless territory that's a little rough and tumble, but it's also this beautiful, untapped wilderness at the same time. Uh, but of course, on the road of the hero's journey, there's temptations. There's moments where you're lost, and then eventually, um, you grew up, right? You figure out where you're going, and through struggle, you overcome yourself and you reach the transcendence. The last third of the game is my favorite. A lot of people will like, I think, the first half or its fun and its excitement. The, the last half of the game is very special to me because it makes me think about all the people that I have met in my life, how those people are important to me, and how I've gotten to where I am. One of the things I love about That Game Company Games is it allows you to project yourself into the game. The things that are going on in your life and the things that you feel, there are, you, you can attach yourself to things and those experiences that happen in the game and they help you resolve and, and look at those things in a different way and that's really, that's really the special part about their game. So I think it's a very individual experience for everyone and for me it's, it's very potent. <laughs> I, I've been thinking a lot about how to describe Journey. You know everything I've said, just go there, be yourself and walk through the journey yourself. 
the message gets through the best when you are experiencing. And I hope that you can find something meaningful for you in the game.